come all the way up. Some say we even changed the game. Seven years ago, we put the league on notice. Seven years later, we are ready to do it again. Atlanta United, San Jose Earthquakes, February 25th at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Home opener tickets available now at ATLUTD.com. Moritz Jens. Passa a rasgar. Arda Jens, muito bem jogado. Giacomakis, a segunda, tiro para o 2-0. Oh. Marco Celti. Roll ATL scene 17, take one for Apple TV. New MacBook Pro is on the way. Action. What the shit, Secret talents. I can do a backflip right now if you guys want to see that. <laughs> I don't think Mario would approve. Am I looking at, where am I looking at? Okay. Are you? Yeah. Okay. And just look at this camera. You can look at me. Okay. Alright, first one. Thanks guys, thanks everybody for coming. Uh, welcome, We're excited here to announce Geo to Atlanta and to the city. Um, we're excited to start the season. We've had a great preseason, just got back from Mexico. Team did very well. We've got a couple more games to build into the season. Uh, integrate Geo, uh, Luis, Derek, and a few others that are coming back uh, to fitness. So looking forward to, to that process um, and really starting the season on a high. But uh, today we're here 
to, to welcome Gio. So I'd love to pass the, the mic over to him and you guys ask some questions and get to know him a little bit. Well, hello everyone. First of all, thank you for coming. And uh, yeah, I'm here to ask you your questions. Yeah, so what we saw uh, was a player that, that was hungry to score goals uh, every time the ball uh, got in the final third. And I think it was uh, something interesting that we saw his movement in the box, his willingness to get across uh, the face of defenders. Uh, we've got some guys that we think can put in some pretty good service. And, and a lot of times uh, how Celtic was able to pin teams in uh, wherever they played, we tend to do that quite a bit uh, here at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And so uh, the profile that he brings uh, with his size that you see, uh, his strength and determination, we thought that was going to be a great mix and a great compliment uh, to be a part of our front four. Yeah, yeah, Gio or Gigi, whatever so it is. <laughs> I, yeah, I can tell my, my surname is not an easy one for you. Yeah, and I hope, uh, you know, if uh, you uh, keep repeating my name with your goals, then you will learn about it. Well, uh, first of all, uh, it was the way they approached me. Carlos was the only one who came to Glasgow to visit me, and that means a lot to me. Um, I wanted to go somewhere that uh, I would feel important. I would feel uh, number one. I would feel a crucial play player, and uh, Carlos showed me it since the very first moment. Uh, also, uh, of course, um, Atlanta. I know it's a big club. I know it's. Um, it was also the league. It's really competitive. And um, I think my passion suits a lot to, to the Americans because um, I have a lot of passion. I uh, love celebrating with the fans. And, um, you know, it's plenty, plenty of reasons that made me feel that uh, I would suit here. I would feel important and uh, I would succeed. I'll follow up with mine. They're Alistair Rankin with a good team at Celtic. Yeah. Well, um, Alistair was just um, was just a while in the team. He, we didn't have the chance to to play together, uh, but we came really close since the very first moment, and uh, he knew all the options I had. And since Atlada came, he said to me, "Don't think anything else. Just just go. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to smash it, and uh, this is the best thing for you." Well, I think Carlos explained, uh, described it uh, in, uh, in the best possible way, my style. Um, I'm hungry for goals and uh, I think that's my fuel. Uh, I can tell that uh, my strong point is, is my strength, uh, my ability to score, my movements in the box and uh, holding the ball within my bag. Um, try to create spaces for my teammates and I hope um, I can improve even uh, other other um, other things in my game, and uh, show it in the pitch. Jurgos, uh, Carlos mentioned Celtic. Hitting teams in oftentimes at the minute is a lot of the same. What makes you effective against low blocks so when uh, you have te teams pinned in like that? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand the next question. What makes me? So what makes you effective uh, against yeah. teams that are pinned in against a low block? Uh, is on the, on the final, on the final third, okay. The the yeah, yeah. Well, it's you know in Celtic it was a di total different style of play because um, uh, the competition there is not so good. Uh, there are two clubs and then all the other clubs that try to defend. So most of the most of the opponents they were trying to to block us in, the, in their box. Uh, we were keeping possession and try to to create spaces and um, score in a different way. I think uh, this league is uh, is a bit more competitive. They all try to play, 
So I think I will find even more uh, more space to in the back of the of their defense, and I uh, will create more problems. And uh, it, it also depends on our st style of play. Uh, I believe we have a lot of quality. I can uh, we can do a lot of things, especially on attack. And I'm looking forward to it. You're, just, um, you're replacing a guy who uh, is a legend for the club. Has a lot of records, a lot of league records. Do you feel any pressure to try to be? Joseph? Of course I feel pressure and I'm happy that I feel pressure. If I wouldn't, then uh, I wouldn't have a, a big motivation. Uh, I like pressure. I work, I work under, under pressure all the time. Um, when I signed for Celtic, they asked me what number I want and uh, this time I just said number seven. But number seven in Celtic was a legendary number. It was Larson, Eric Larson. And, uh, He's the legend, legend of the legends, so I respect it. But uh, at the same time, I, I wanted that pressure, I wanted that uh, motivation, and uh, I think I did well. So same happens here. Um, I feel that this is also the number, that, but it's also the position that uh, I have to replace a great player, that he can write his uh, own history here for the club and uh, especially in the league in, the, in general and. Uh, I feel nice. I feel nice because I I feel that I have I have to improve every 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 day more and more and uh, keep scoring goals and um, make these people uh, right for for their decision and uh, make them proud. You gonna be number seven here also? Yeah. Okay. I will. So uh, switching to Carlos, um, just timeline wise, when was it that Gio came on your radar and what was it about? Yeah, so our, our, our scouting department and guys had, had flagged him up a little while back, and you know we weren't the only club interested, obviously, um, around the world. So, um, you know, as we watch him and, and things start to come to fruition, maybe there's a possibility. I went over to see him, like he said, and, and we spoke more at length, um, more in depth. But uh, really, just I, I like how he compliments and, and our staff. We liked how he compliments our group of players with Tiago, Luis. Derek up there, the movement that they have off the ball. Uh, Derek likes to get in the box a lot. So I think him and Derek playing off each other with runs in the box. Uh, obviously, you know Tiago's quality. Uh, Luis coming inside on his left, whether he can shoot, he can find him at the back post. He also does a very good job in the air. Um, so, you know, set piece defending, set piece attacking. Uh, a lot of games are won and lost like that. So, um, you know, it, it kind of started coming together. And, and fortunately, we were able to, to close the deal and, and get it done, not without twists and turns that you guys all read about um, in the media. So uh, that, that's part of it. It's part of the process. But uh, the thing was, he stayed strong with us. And uh, he believed in us. We believed in him. And uh, happy, uh, happy to add him to the team and, and get him out there with the group. Uh, Carlos, do you anticipate the visa process being done in time for uh, your guys to be able to play uh, February 25th? That's the hope. That's the hope. Um, obviously, um, we've submitted all the paperwork and everything, like, and so it's, it's a little bit of a waiting game. But um, they do a really good job of, of trying to turn those around quickly for uh, for the MLS, which is which is helpful. The whole time we were looking at him, we had him in mind that he would be a designated player for the club, whether it was a loan with a, an option to buy, a loan with an automatic trigger, or just the, the straight DP, uh, or straight um, buy, excuse me, to be a DP. So um, that didn't really change. It's just how we were able to maneuver our, our salary cap and, and figure it out um, what made the most sense. And so ultimately, um, just having the straight up purchase was the, the way to go. Yeah, no, look, I, we're not going to discuss his, his contract publicly, but I think what I don't want to do is, you know, Doug asked a question about it. He's replacing Joseph. Joseph was fantastic for this club, uh, a legend. I think everybody knows that, and he was, he was, you know, he was excellent for the brand and the club. I don't want to put those expectations on Georges. He's going to come in and write his own history. Um, but we, we, what we like is all the qualities that I mentioned, 
you know, obviously the expectation is for him to score goals. I think he realizes that as well. Um, but he's going to do it in his own way, and he's going to do it. And you know what? It might be uh, he scores 15, 20 goals. It might be he scores 12, and the team scores 60 that year because he's creating so many other problems, and Derek scores more, or Luis scores more, or Thiago scores more. So I think um, it's more just, uh, you know, the, the, the entire package and his profile that he brings is going to fit very nicely with our clubs. I don't want to put unrealistic expectations on, on anyone coming in, not only him, but any of the other players. Um, these are players that were here. They did great. They're not here anymore, but we have uh, some new guys coming in. Tim? Jorgos, uh, question for you. Um, in your conversations with Kimbo and Neda thus far, how much of the tactical style that he talked about, how much is that similar to what Celtics play? And if so, do you find yourself you know, addressing what is Well, um, I've watched all the games since last season, uh, for last season games, and um, I've noticed that we were trying to have the possession of the ball, we were trying to create uh, most of the times, especially home games. So that was something that it was really close to the Celtic play of uh, Celtic plague. Um, I feel that I've, I felt that uh, since the very first moment that uh, Atrada is uh, is a team that is going to create a lot, uh, is going to, to try to score as much as possible. And um, I think that's that's the main target when you're a big club. You have to create. You have to score. Uh, that that's uh, one of the reasons that I think I will I will uh, adjust really fast. Uh, it's a, a club that the way he plays makes me feel comfortable. And uh, yeah, I think my adjustment would be pretty easy. Well, my experience, I think, will help me a lot uh, to adjust, and that's really important for me. You know, many players when they 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 change country or they go to the other part of the world, they they usually need a, um, a, a, a specific amount of uh, specific period, big period usually to adjust. Uh, I don't think this uh, will happen to me. I'm ready. I'm uh, I'm looking forward for the first game. I hope Visa will be ready, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm excited. Yeah, well, uh, the last couple of years I was watching a lot, some games of MLS. Uh, you have a Greek player here plays for DC, uh, Taxiarchis Fundas. Uh, also have a former teammate plays for Toronto, uh, Jimenez, the striker. So I was following a lot uh, the league. I like the league a lot. And we had also the, um, the TV rights in Greece. So uh, I, w I was watching a lot some games. Um, it, was always, uh, it was always in my, my targets to come here to sign for a club, a big club, and uh, I finally did, and I'm happy about that. Well, I feel comfortable with both of the ways. If I need to keep the ball, if I need to to create for my team, I will do it. If I need to to score with one touch, I will do it uh, either. Um, I try to improve myself every single day, and uh, of course, I know my strong point is to score with one touch. But I try to improve, and I, I think I will uh, be also helpful with uh, uh, holding play and uh, trying also to create with my uh, other teammates. I think any time your name gets mentioned with the, you know, the sporting director role for, for your country, it, it's flattering, right? Um, I'm happy here in Atlanta. I, I love it here. Um, so, you know, if something comes down the road and have to have those conversations, um, you know, again, it's it's very flattering. But at the moment, no, fully focused on, on Atlanta and, and the task at hand here.
score in the first game. <laughs> that would be the best feeling, score and win. Uh, no, I think, uh, as I said before, I will, my adjustment will not uh, last long. And uh, I feel pretty comfortable, thanks to, to the guys, all the guys here, the staff, uh, the, my teammates. They had the most, the, the, the best warm, the most warm welcome in uh, in my entire career. So since the very first moment, I felt I felt amazing. I felt that I'm playing already two seasons for the club, and that's something that will make me uh, feel comfortable also in the on the field. Yeah, well, maybe a song that I sing the, fir uh, the <laughs> first two days, or uh, two days later we had a, um, a dinner in the, in Mexico. They made a cake for me. They were singing Happy Birthday. So all that, that kind of stuff made me feel uh, uh, really comfortable and uh, feel like a part of this family. What do you look forward to the most about living here? Um, I don't know much, to be honest. Uh, I know it's, it's a nice city. Um, yeah, I know. I know most. The, the the thing I care about is I know about the fans, how good they are. I know that they, they fill the stadium, and I'm I'm looking forward. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to play in front of our fans. Joe, oh, sorry, Josh. What is the expectation just for yourself in your first season with this club? Are you, do you set goals for yourself? Do you share anything that you're looking no. for? Yeah. I've I've said many times that I don't I don't I don't like to give any numbers on my goals or assists or uh, on my appearances. But um, as I said before, my my fuel and my motivation is is a goals is goals is by scoring goals and uh, creating for the club. Um, I'm really happy when I score, and uh, when I don't, I'm not so happy to be honest. So. Yeah, I will, I will try to do what I, I, I'm doing uh, every single season, score as much as possible, and uh, help my team achieve uh, uh, its goals. That's the main target. Jeff, yeah, you mentioned watching some of the, the games from last year. I just wanted to kind of get your opinion on what you saw from a couple of the playmakers, and I'm sure you'll be linking up with uh, Thiago Almada and, and Luis Arie, too. Just um, obviously, I do are, are very good players. And what you think of yeah, well, first of all, uh, it was a really unlucky season. Um, the club has a lot of um, big injuries, and I think that if if the, these players uh, could try stay healthy, the um, the ranking table would be different. Uh, I believe a lot in the quality of, uh, of my teammates, and uh, of course I know Thiago, I know Luis, uh, their qualities, and uh, I'm also analyzing, still analyzing them, and uh, try to understand exactly how they play, when are they going to pass, where they're going to shoot, where they where they are going to pass. And um, I hope we will find um, we'll have a good chemistry and uh, we'll score a lot together and provide for the club. Great, thanks, everyone. We have a photo op with uh, uh, President Garth Lagerway as well, and then we'll have time for some one on ones. Tom, we'll take a question here.
o Moritz Jens. Passa a rasgar. Ricardo Jens, muito bem jogado. Giacomakis à segunda, tiro para o 2-0. Come all the way up. Some say we even changed the game. Seven years ago, we put the league on notice. Seven years later, we are ready to do it again. Atlanta United, San Jose Earthquakes, February 25th at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Home opener tickets available now at atlutd.com.